Now, as far as the uh, tax administration related to VAT is concerned, so first of all, we know that there, there will be uh, electronic filing of VAT return. So an online return and online payment is to be made against the value added tax. And the deadline is within one month and seven days of the end of the return period. So for example, if the return period is 31st December, then the relevant value, uh, the relevant date will be after one month and seven days. So if it's 13, 31st December uh, 2019, then one month, that is the end of January and seven days. So 7th Feb 2020 is the deadline of submitting return and the payment. Now, default surcharge. A default occurs if a VAT return is not submitted on time. So one of the one of the uh, indicator is if return is not submitted on time or a payment is made late. So there are two events which results in a default. One is the late submission of return. But if return is submitted on time, but payment has been delayed, then this is again a concern for again an indicator for default. But on first default, the tax authority serve a surcharge liability notice on the trade. So a notice will be served only on the trader. So a notice will be served on the trader. Now, what is the impact of this notice? The notice specify a surcharge period that is 12 month. So that surcharge period is starting on the date of notice and ending on the 12 month anniversary of the end of the VAT period to which the default relates. If there is a default in surcharge period, there are two consequences. Number one, your surcharge period is extended to the 12 month anniversary of the VAT period to which the new default relates. And if the default involves the late payment of VAT, the trader will be subject to a surcharge penalty. And that surcharge penalty rates are if there is a default in the surcharge period, and this is the first default in the surcharge period, the rate of penalty is unpaid amount multiplied by 2%. If this is the second default consistently, then 5%. If this is the third default, 10%. And if the fourth default, then the rate of tax is surcharge is percentage of tax unpaid is 15%. There is no surcharge penalty where a late VAT return involves the repayment of VAT or if the VAT payable is nil. So surcharge penalty is only applicable when you have to pay tax. If you, if you don't have to pay tax or if you have to receive tax, there is no surcharge penalty. The surcharge penalties at the rate of 2% and 5% in the previous example, you are talking about these two are not issued for amount less than 400 pounds. If the amount is less than 400 pound in case of first and second default, then surcharge penalty is not applicable where the rate is 10% or 15%, which is in the case of third or fourth default in the relevant surcharge period. Then the surcharge penalty is the higher of 30 pound and be the actual amount of calculated surcharge. The surcharge liability period only ends when that trader submits four consecutive VAT quarterly return on time and pay any VAT due on time. Otherwise, there will be always a surcharge period. And if there is a default in the surcharge period, then the rate of surcharge penalty will be either 2, 5, 10 or 15%. We have to make this uh, penalty. So. For example, the quarter and the VAT return 
for the quarter and thirtieth June two thousand nineteen was. submitted lit the amount of vat due was 14500 and not paid until 16th august 2019 the return to next quarter was also late and vat of 16200 was not paid until 9th of november 2019 now what is the consequence now in this sequence first of all let's move to the first quarter and that is 31st 30th june 2019 and this is our default because the return has been submitted late but a surcharge liability notice has been issued a notice has been issued and the surcharge period will start from the date of notice to 30th june 2020 so the next 12 month is from 30th june 19 till 30th june 2020 this is the surcharge liability notice but for 30th september 19 the next quarter there is a first default made this so this first default fall in the surcharge period and as it's a first default so the vat outstanding 16200 multiply by 2% penalty and this 2% penalty is 324 as it is less than 400 so 